Hello everybody, and welcome to another Gay Let's Play Jade... Wait, let me do that again. <laughs> Hello everybody, and welcome to another Gay Let's Play Dragon Age Origins. In our last episode, Angelus and his cousin Sorus broke their way into uh, uh, the Arl Sons Vaughn's palace, or I guess that's the Arl's palace, in order to rescue the elven women that he had essentially kidnapped. And um, unfortunately, things got a little bloody at the end, and we kind of ended up killing the Arl Son. But it felt good. Uh, unfortunately, now it looks like Angelus has to say farewell to the alienage because just as they were going to execute him, this guy Duncan from the Grey Wardens said that he wanted to recruit me, recruit Angelus into the Great Wardens, um, which basically said that A, Angelus wouldn't have to die, but it also meant that B, he'd have to leave. So first things first, we're going to level ourselves up. Um, I am not quite sure what I... I kind of want to increase my dex a little bit because it seems that a bit of our skills kind of needs dex. Um, ooh, I can increase coercion. Um, I'm not sure about that. Um, herbalism... Poison making. Ooh, poison making. Simple poisons and grenades. That might be useful. Trap making. Basic traps and lures. Um. I think I'm gonna save. Sure, let me put something in. Nah. Maybe I'll put something in poison making later. Well, yeah, I'll put something in poison making right now. It might be useful. And then this one, the Spirit Eater now has access to mage-specific abilities and can use mage-specific items. In addition, this ability allows you to consume the essences trapped within 15, oh my gosh, soul gems to learn a new ability. So I think this means that if I collect 15 soul gems and use this ability, I'll be able to start learning mage powers, which is kind of neat. Um, and this one requires level 8. So I might as well just go grab that. And we'll just move on. <clears throat> um, hey, Saurus. Thank you. You really saved my hide back there. Of, of course, Saurus. I couldn't let them. I couldn't let them take you. That that would be terrible. I'd be a terrible cousin. Um. Don't mention it. Still casual, even now. I wish I had your nerves, or skill, or, well, anything. No more daydreaming. I'm settling down. Valora's a good woman, and she has ideas on making life better for everyone here. Well, good your father you. had the women take Shiani back to your place. Will you see her before you go? Oh, absolutely. Of course. Good luck, cousin. You've been my hero since we were kids. It's just official now. Aw, thanks, cuz. You're too sweet, Soros. All right. Um, hey, Elder Valandrian. Well, I guess Duncan got his recruit after all. Um, it was not really by my choice. No. Either way, it's out of my hands now. If you'll excuse me, I must tend to our people. Goodbye, young one, and make her keep you. Thank you, Elder. I appreciate it. All right, I I'll talk to Duncan once I'm good and ready to leave. Oh, but this is the this is the only world I've ever known. Which probably just means Angelus is dying to see what else is out there beyond the alienage. Um, hey guys. Uh, hopefully this doesn't mean I have to return all the wedding presents, right? This is the best thing for you, dear. But we're all sad to see you go. I'm kind of sad leaving you guys, too. Good luck to you. Whatever happens. Thanks. Hey, 
Okay, Dilwyn. Maybe this will be for the best. I sure hope so. You'll do good out there, I'm sure. Thanks. I always said you were meant for something other than this place. Hmm. It's going to be a lot quieter without you around. <laughs> you, you bet it will. Okay. Be good, kids. Stay in school. Don't do drugs. Just wanted to say. Make sure I didn't leave without, you know, giving my public service announcement. Sirion. If this I mean, is what the Maker has planned for you, then I guess it's for the best. Your mother would have been pleased. By, by Sirion, I mean Pop. Dad. Um, I sure hope so. Take care, my son. Be strong. And wise. And, well, you know, we'll all miss you. Aw, I'll miss you too, Pop. I'll make you proud. Just watch over Shiani and Soros for me, will you? Yeah. That's all I need, is to know that they'll be okay. Uh, imagine... Leaving the alienage. This was a pretty cool origin story, I have to say. I did enjoy this. Good riddance. You were always a troublemaker. Well, oh, thanks. I'm, I'm done talking with you. You're one person I'm not going to miss. Alarith, do you, do, you, do you think you can sell me stuff now that I'm about to leave? You should go quickly. Just know that we're all going to miss you. All right, never mind. Oh, books! Culture of Ferelden. Hmm. There's an awful long lag, you know, leaving buildings in this game. I'm not really sure if it's my machine or what, but... Are those kids still playing around back here? No, they're gone. Okay... Ooh, the alienage tree. I guess I'm Andalus's. Venahadel, the tree of the people. I guess there really isn't anything left for me to do. I've said. Oh, wait, I'd say goodbye to Shiani. Whoops! Wanted to make sure I did that before I left. It's Alarith's door. Gotta make sure that Shiani's okay. Cause I already I already said goodbye to Soros. Gotta make sure my other cousin is all right. Cause she's been shaken up. There you are, Nesyara. Your betrothed has returned. Oh, that's right. I'll be right there. Thank you, for me, for Soros, for everything. I'll never be able to repay you. Well, I'll leave you two alone. Thank you, Valora. Um... So, I guess you don't have to get married after all, hmm. Uh, I won't say thank the Maker, that's mean. Um... We both lucked out, didn't we? Still an ass. What? Your friend seems to be recovering. I'll let you two... Well... Goodbye. I'm sorry. I... He... I'm sorry. I was just trying... That was the right thing to do. Really, folks. It was the right thing to do to say, No, we're, we're not getting married. Sorry. You took all the responsibility for what happened. You're amazing, you know that? Um... How are you holding up? I'm alright. As far as the others know, Vaughn just roughed me up a bit. I just don't want them treating me like some fragile doll. <sighs> I love you, cousin. Oh. Make us proud out there. I love you too, cousin. I love you too, Shiani. Make her watch over you. We'll miss you. I'll miss you guys too. All right. I think now I'm finally ready. Finally ready to head out 
into the great beyond. Where's Duncan? There he is. Saurus is gone, the Elder's gone, it's just me and Duncan now. Are you ready to go? I guess I am. Good. Then we leave for Ostagar immediately. Alright. And so the origin story for Angelus ends. And now we move on to the main campaign. What lies beyond for Angelus out in that large, expansive world? We'll see. We will be traveling south through the hinterlands to the ruin of Ostagar, on the edges of the Korkari Wilds. The Tevinter Imperium built Ostagar long ago to prevent the Wilders from invading the northern lowlands. It's fitting we make our stand here, even if we face a different foe within that forest. The King's forces have clashed with the Darkspawn several times, but here is where the bulk of the Horde will show itself. There are only a few Grey Wardens within Ferelden at the moment, but all of us are here. This blight must be stopped, here and now. If it spreads to the north, Ferelden will fall. Ho oh there, Duncan. King Kaelan. I didn't expect a... A royal welcome? I was beginning to worry you'd miss all the fun. Mm. Not if I could help it, Your Majesty. Then I'll have the mighty Duncan at my side in battle after all. Glorious. The other wardens told me you'd found a promising recruit. I take it this is he? Allow me to introduce you, Your Majesty. There's yeah. no need to be so formal, Duncan. We'll be shedding blood together after all. Ho there, friend. Might I know your name? Whoa. This is the King of Ferelden? The King of Ferelden? Huh, I wonder how Angelus would treat the king. Um, I don't think he would be that... See, the king was actually pretty polite, so I wouldn't say I'm no friend of yours, human human lord. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll be respectful. I mean, Angelus, even though Angelus is super cautious about, you know, people in high political chairs like, obviously, the king, he, he knows to be respectful when he needs to be. I am Angelus, your majesty. Pleased to meet you. The Grey Wardens are desperate to bolster their numbers, and I, for one, am glad to help them. I see you're an elf, friend. From where do you hail? Um... From one of your alien itches, naturally. Tell me, how is it there? My guards all but forbid me going there. You... you really want to know what it's like in the alienage? Um... Oh, I killed an Arl's son for raping my friend. You... What? Your Majesty, I would not have put it so bluntly. There are events in Denerim you should be aware of. So it seems. I will hear more about this matter later. For now, we have a war to attend to. Allow me to be the first to welcome you to Ostagar. The Wardens will benefit greatly with you in their ranks. Well, thank you, Your Majesty. I... You know, I actually... I actually think Angelus likes the King. I, he seems to be genuine with what he's saying. Like, he's not just... I don't think that King Kaelin is telling Angelus um, what he wants to hear. He actually is surprised at the conditions of the alienage. So, yeah, I think Angelus, Angelus likes him. Um, you're too kind, Your Majesty. I'm sorry to cut this short, but I should return to my tent. Loghain waits eagerly to bore me with his strategies. Your uncle sends his greetings and reminds you that Redcliffe forces could be here in less than a week. Ha! <laughs> Eamon just wants in on the glory. We've won three battles against these monsters, and tomorrow should be no different. Um, you sound very confident of that. Overconfident, some would say. Right, Duncan? <laughs> Your Majesty, I'm not certain the blight can be ended quite as quickly as you might wish. I'm not even sure this is a true blight. There are plenty of darkspawn on the field, but alas, we've seen no sign of an archdemon. Disappointed, Your Majesty? I'd hoped for a war like in the tales. A king riding with the fabled Grey Wardens against a tainted god. But I suppose this will have to do. I must go before Loghain sends out a search party. Farewell, Grey Wardens. 
Fare well, your highness. He doesn't seem so bad for a Shem. What the king said is true. They've won several battles against the Darkspawn here. Yet you don't sound very reassured. Despite the victory so far, the Darkspawn horde grows larger with each passing day. By now they look to outnumber us. I know there is an archdemon behind this, but I cannot ask the king to act solely on my feeling. Um... Why not? He seems to regard the Grey Wardens highly. Yet not enough to wait for reinforcements from the Grey Wardens of Orlais. He believes our legend alone makes him invulnerable. Our numbers in Ferelden are too few. We must do what we can, and look to Terran Loghain to make up the difference. To that end, we should proceed with the joining ritual without delay. The, the what? What do you mean, what ritual? Every recruit must go through a secret ritual we call the Joining, in order to become a Grey Warden. The ritual is brief, but some preparation is required. We must begin soon. Uh... Why is this ritual so secret? The Joining is dangerous. I cannot speak more of it except to say that you will learn all in good time. Until then, you must trust that what is done is necessary. Uh, what exactly do you need me to do? Feel free to explore the camp here as you wish. All I ask is that you do not leave it for the time being. There is another Grey Warden in the camp by the name of Alistair. When you're ready, seek him out and tell him it's time to summon the other recruits. Until then, I have business I must attend to. You may find me at the Grey Warden tent on the other side of this bridge should you need to. Okay. Fair enough. So, yeah. Ostagar, eh? Oh, epic music is epic. Wow, there's a lot of stuff to explore around here. Um. Hey, Guard Patrol. Guard patrol. Make a watch over you, my lord. Huh, you guys are actually kind of respectful. Make a watch over you, my lord. No, oh, sex. Don't mind if I do. A beef bone. And a lesser health poultice. Deep mushrooms. Nice, nice. Elf fruit. Elfruit are good for making poultices. Um, and a chest. Let's get started. Which I can't open because I'm not a rogue. Sad face. Make a watch over you, my lord. More elf fruit. And another guard patrol, who probably will say the exact same thing because they all had a meeting and said, if anyone talks to us, this is what we're going to say. Make her watch over you, my lord. Or whatever it is that they've been saying. Okay. I think I've searched enough over there. Gate guard. Today, two units of men arrived every hour, and they expect to double that tomorrow. Still, the Tern worries that may not be enough. Today, two units of men arrived every right. hour, and they expect to double that tomorrow. Still, the Tern worries... How about the Tower of Ishal? The Tower of Ishal is off-limits. The men stationed inside are securing it now. What is the Tower of Ishal? I think they used it once to watch for wilders coming out of the forest. Why is the tower off-limits exactly? By orders of Terran Loghain. The tower is being secured by his men to be used during battle. I'm told they discovered some lower chambers, and they don't know how far down they go, so for now, everyone's to stay out. The lower chambers? I didn't see anything like that when I was there, but who knows? This is a pretty large ruin. Goes back to the time of the Tevinter Imperium. Dwarven make. That's probably why it's still standing. Dwarven, eh? I should go. Make a speed your steps. Thank you, sir. Angelus is not used to all of these humans being so nice to him. 
It's 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 weird. It's really weird. Wow, this place is pretty huge, and there are statues of Andraste all over the place. Man, this is a heck of a lot larger. Hail, you must be the Grey Warden recruit that Duncan brought. This is a heck of a lot larger than the alienage, that's for sure. Definitely not in Kansas anymore. This place hasn't seen such bustle in centuries, I'll wager. Need a hand getting anywhere? Sure. Uh, where's Duncan's tent? Not far. It's straight ahead, just past the royal encampment. Most of your fellas are in the valley with the army, but the recruits seem to be staying up here for now. Uh, oh yeah, I'm, I'm looking for a Grey Warden named Alistair, I think is his name. Try heading north. I think he was sent with a message to the mages. Alright. Tell me about Ostagar. Used to be a fortress a long time ago, so I understand. Back in the days when the Wilders used to invade the lowlands. You were just on the eastern side of the ruin. The Tower of Ishal is there, but Tern Loganes closed it off until the battle. This side is the King's Camp. We've got the Grey Wardens here, the Circle of Magi, the Chantry. You can't swing a dead cat without hitting somebody important. Oh. Is there anywhere to get supplies? Quartermaster. He's just a bit to the northwest. Excellent. And where's the king? Probably in his tent. He and Tern Loghain are on the southwest side of the camp. The king likes to spend time with his soldiers, though. Sometimes even without his bodyguards. Drives Tern Loghain wild, that does. Um... And the circle of magi is here? A few mages, yes. They even brought those creepy quiet fellows, the Tranquil. Gives me the shivers when they talk, all cold and even. They're to the north of here, bunched up with a herd of Templars glaring at them. Can't miss it. Do I hear dogs barking? This is Ferelden, isn't it? The king has his kennels on the west side of camp. Stinks from all the hounds. These aren't cute puppies, though. Some of those dogs bite the dark spawn and get too much of that blood in them. It's like poison. Slow, painful death. Terrible. I see. I want to ask you something on, else. Then. I guess I'll be on my way. Good luck to you then. Thank you. Gosh, people are so nice over here. This is really, really strange. All right. So Alistair is over there somewhere, and there's a kennel master over there. Okay. What's going on over here? Wait, are those? Mages? I'm sorry, but the mages must not be interrupted. But, but... The mages must not be interrupted. Their spirits are in the Fade. The Fade? The Fade is the realm of dreams and the land of the dead. Or so the mages tell us. Regardless, they are not to be disturbed. Not even by Grey Wardens. Um, uh, alright. As you wish. That's so cool. They're like making a ice storm in there. I want to do that. Why can't I do that? Hail to you. And take you, I guess. We stand here in this hour, good folk of Ferelden, and we contemplate the death that may await. Death is no failure, my friends. Should it find you, you will not have failed your king. You will have served your maker. Die in this battle, and when you stand before the Maker in the land beyond the Fade, he shall not find you wanting. Go not into death gladly, but with the knowledge that evil has been held at bay by your spilled blood. And if you go to stand beside the Maker, go with our blessing, for you shall not be forgotten. My friends, let us bow our heads and remember those who have fallen and those who have yet to fall. I think that Angelus is... He's not a hardcore religious person, but he at least, he's not, he, he believes in the maker. I mean, he's, he may not necessarily be a practicing, whatever you call him, who follows the maker, Ma I don't know, make a knight, whatever. He might not be a practicing religious elf, but he at least does have respect for Andraste and, and the maker. Because I mean, Andraste did apparently free the elves from, from, I guess complete slavery 
although they're still he the, the she she got them some of their salvation back so yeah i think that's how he was taught by his family that's what he was taught by his family well met shh i'm trying to listen sorry if you'll excuse me we are praying sorry how do you do quiet i'm trying to listen she kind of she kind of stopped talking i think you're okay hello win greetings young man you are duncan's newest recruit are you not He's not a man easily impressed. You should be proud. Allow me to introduce myself. I am Wynne, one of the mages summoned by the king. Ooh, you're a mage. Um, I am Angelus. Well met, and good luck to you on the battlefield. To us all, in fact. Uh, will you be fighting beside the king? Not precisely. The Grey Wardens will be on the front lines, not the mages. Still, we have our parts to play. To defeat the Darkspawn, we have to work together. It's not an idea everyone seems able to grasp. Wait. You faced Darkspawn before? Stragglers, yes. Not the vast horde the scouts speak of. I wonder, how much do you know of the connection between Darkspawn and the Fade? Durr. Uh... Isn't the Fade the land of the dead? Any time your spirit leaves your earthly body, whether it's to dream or to die, it passes into the realm we call the Fade. It's home to many spirits, some benevolent, others far less so. At the heart of the Fade lies the Black City. Um, what's the Black City? Some say the Black City was once the seat of the Maker. But when the mages from the Tevinter Imperium found a way into the city, it was tainted with their sin. That taint transformed those men, turning them into twisted reflections of their own hearts. And the Maker cast them back to the Earth, where they became the first Darkspawn. At least, that's what the Chant of Light says. I love the soundtrack of this game. It just makes all these conversations so much more epic. Um... And is that true? It may be allegory, meant to teach us that our own evil causes human suffering. Or it may be true. It is as good an explanation as any for now. Um... I guess, at least, I'll just kill every darkspawn I see. A wise attitude. It's worked well for me in the past. But I'm certain Duncan has more for you to do than talk to me. Alright, well, nice meeting you. I was gonna ask if she could show me some magic tricks, but something tells me that's not gonna work. Um. Ooh, a chest! That course of action is inadvisable. Uh, sorry, didn't mean to do that. Hello. Welcome, young man. Who are you? I am one of the Tranquil, my friend. I am of the circle of Magi, but instead of casting spells and reading tomes, I spend my time enchanting. It is a time-consuming process, but invaluable. Enchantment provides the circle its wealth. Certainly we would not get by on charity. Um... You speak very strangely. Why is that? Allow me to put it this way. Do you know why those with magical talent are feared? Um... Not entirely, no. Those with magical talent attract demons and spirits. We can be possessed easily and thus become horrors known as abominations. Even those with minor talents attract hungry spirits. Anyone with the power may learn blood magic from these demons. Hence, we are considered dangerous. This is our curse. Thus, I was made tranquil, stripped of emotions and talent. I am no longer dangerous. Whoa. Stripped of emotions? Really? I don't know how I feel about that. Um... I feel kind of badly for you, not gonna lie. You do? I feel nothing. 
as the name suggests, my existence is quite peaceful. I am alive, productive, and no danger to anyone. Surely that is not a terrible thing. Perhaps we may speak of something else. Do you need assistance? I... well, I guess... What is in... What is enchantment exactly? It is the practice of folding magical lyrium into items first practiced by the dwarves. The Tranquil have learned their runes, and we use them to apply a variety of magical effects. We create the glow lights, as well as the magic staff, or the flaming blade. The irony, perhaps, is that it is our very disconnection to our former talents that allows the Tranquil to work with Lyrium so. A true mage could not. Interesting. So what sort of enchantments are there? Runes exist that hold the power of the elements that increase strength or swiftness. Almost any spell can be given permanency, given enough skill and Lyrium. Naturally, the greater the power required, the more expensive the rune will become to create. True power comes with a price, as we know only too well. Fascinating, but uh, you're starting to creep me out, sir, so uh, I should go. Goodbye. <laughs>